This is going to be your guide to the best tips and tricks in Pal World. If you enjoyed the video or if it helps out in any way, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit on this first one. Just watch my beginner guide if you already haven't. It's going to get you set up really strong to get to around level 10 and beyond. We're set up, we're making ingots, we're upgrading the base, everything is good, and we're going to keep branching from what we learned in that last video. And the first thing I want to talk about is Tansy. You want to build his assault rifle, and that's why we need the ingots, stone, wood, and paldium fragments. But you already got a lot of that stuff coming in, because he gets a rifle before you get a crossbow. And if you scroll down through the tech tree, there's no spoilers here, you can look ahead as far as you want, and you can see like the musket, the handgun, and all that stuff. You don't get rifles and good weapons till very deep into the game, and those things are expensive. Tansy just takes a little bit of copper and some wood, and then he's doing crazy amounts of damage. So Tansy is going to be a really good pal for early game combat farming. Oh yeah, and right above it, Life Monk also gets a submachine gun, so maybe you just make that. That way you can cycle through your pals and then have multiple gun pal abilities at your disposal. Also, you want to get a flying pal as soon as possible, so if you see a Nightwing, fight it and catch it. So you can hit it with the bow, that'll bring it down, and then you can have your pal do some of the work to take it out. Make sure that you recall it before it like KOs the Nightwing. And yeah, he's actually gonna do some good damage to the Nightwing. You back it up, oh, and that's a KO, Never mind. Nightwing saddle unlocks at level 15, so you can build that with the basic resources you're already getting, and then you can start flying around, which is really good for like everything in the game. Now let's put this groovy little dude to the test. So you want to be really close when you use the cheery rifle. You need to hold on to it to like let it load up. And then yeah, make sure he uh, doesn't kill the thing you're trying to catch. But you can uh, do a lot of damage. And he's going to do close to that damage at level 11 when you unlock it. Or level 12 when you unlock it anyways. And then you can get your first boss kill or take out higher level stronger pals that easily now it is really inaccurate so it needs to be like point blank but just do that that also gives you your first ancient technology point which you want to spend on the egg incubator because you've probably been seeing eggs around always pick those up because it's just free pals and free experience and then when you go out on any adventure just fill up the rest of your inventory with ore because you are going to be making ingots non-stop it's about efficiency and min max and when you get back to base don't forget to throw out one of your pals that way you can have even more work efficiency so we come back make a crazy amount of ingots that's going to be really good we can just kind of take stock of everything going on how are we doing on life monk oh sick we can uh up our cap capture power, which we should have done to begin with. While the Nightwing saddle is being made and the large damp egg is incubating, a good tip is also that the game's tutorial is really strong. The PAL box tells you how to upgrade your base. Just focus on that. You have nothing else to do. Tutorial on top right, get that done. You want a level seven base, you want to catch pals, you want to do the first tower, everything's good. Also, read the survival guide. If you need help on anything, if you feel lost, if there's like a mechanic you're unsure about, go and check out the survival guide. Why is my pal slacking off? Why are they going insane? Maybe they're hungry. Maybe they don't have a good quality bed or enough rest. Why is there a one out of 10 experience bonus when I capture a pal? Well, actually for the first 10 times you capture a pal of the same species, you get experience. How do the type matchups work in pal world? It's straight up in the game and it couldn't be described any easier. So you have like a little bit of a loop here. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats ground, ground beats electric, branches off because fire is super against two things, dragon, dark, neutral, neat. And the large egg had a Pang King in it, which is a straight upgrade to Pangola, except it's a slacker, so that's not great. And also, if you're, like, confused about accessing something or it feels like there's something wrong with the game, just read around. Oh, wait a second. I can press F to view details. It actually took me a bit when I was first playing to realize this because I was putting pals into my party and then going into party to see all of their stats. But no, you can just access this from the pal box by pressing F. Same thing with build mode. I was manually breaking things, which takes a long time because they have a lot of health. No, you just have disassembly. See, it's right there. It's it's even highlighted in NC. So if you look around, usually the menu can also help you out with the thing you're trying to do. 
And I hope just one person in the comments goes, oh my god, I didn't know that pressing F was how I could see this. That helps. Thank you so much. When you're out and about, always make an effort to catch pals, especially if you haven't gotten the capture bonus yet. That way you can stack up good amounts of experience. Also, while out and about, have your pal help you work. You should have Kativa with you, and then it can mine while you can woodcut, and then you can get some extra resources on the road. And then you can build a workbench and kind of make things as you need them. I know it's kind of basic, but it's one of these like, yo, if you haven't played this kind of game or you're not used to the monster aspect of this, he's going to work for you. Make sure you are getting the full value out of everything going on and, and keeping busy. Oh boy, we got some third party shenanigans going on, which means you can just kind of uh, have that get you extra experience and work in your favor. So you could use that to catch a higher level pal or just poach a little bit of experience. So yeah, once you've defeated your first boss pal and you finally have a flying pal, the next thing you want to do is get the goat. So head on over to the north, unlock this fast travel point. It's going to be up here, the ruins. And now we can talk about why we're here at the ruins. It's so we can catch the goat, Tomb Bat. So if you go to the pal deck, you might see that characters are grayed out, but you can check their habitat and it doesn't matter if you caught them or not. You just need to make sure you're on the right one. This was the first mistake I made. I thought like you had to catch it to be able to find the habitat. But if you've seen it and you don't remember where, you can just kind of find it anywhere and it's going to be highlighted on the map. The reason why Tombat is the early game goat, look at those stats, two in mining, Two in transport, two in gathering. Yeah, he definitely needs to be out on the base working. Also, don't underestimate the power of the pal deck. It shows the possible drops from the pals as well, and that's going to be really helpful for when you're trying to craft stuff. Now, general rule of thumb is that water type pals are going to drop pal fluids, and then some of the souls are going to be straightforward that, oh, if you want a flame organ, fire pal ice or electric organs are going to be from ice or electric pals. Neutral pals just kind of drop whatever, but you want to be killing or catching lamb balls a lot because again, wool into fabric is going to be really good. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for the beginner tips and tricks. A lot of it is learning the game and getting comfortable. It gets a lot deeper. It gets a lot more complex, but that's what my other guides are going to be about, such as like the best item farming, some of the better pals that you can use. But really you want to get to the state where first ancient point, start getting some eggs incubated because that's going to expand the types of pals you get. Like Flame Bell is found way further out than I am and we already got one so that's pretty cool. Tomb Bat is really good to get your base going. Same thing for this guy. He's got two in logging so we can put one of them down but doesn't really do too much else. So you still want to go for the balance. You still want to be upgrading your base. Again it's about getting comfortable. And then we're going to be covering everything in the rest of this guide series so that's why it's really good if you leave a like comment your thoughts down below, give your tips and tricks, tell me what you thought of this guide, that way we can make the next ones better, and that's going to be it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day, thank you very much for watching.